those subscribers are probably feeling very angsty about all of this. What can the communication service providers do to, to try and restore trust and, and make subscribers feel more secure about the situation? It's a great question. I think that question is going to continue to be around for some time. Uh, to understand where we have to get to is understand the past a little bit. Um, the telephony networks were designed with a legacy set of protocols called SS7 or TDM. And this basically was an inherent trust system within the uh, older uh, telephone networks. And so when a call was placed, it came from a trusted source. And once it came into another network, the entire time it was in that network, it was trusted. Therefore, implicitly uh, implied there is that it was a guaranteed call with uh, security around it. Uh, time has moved on. Uh, technologies change. There's more open standards out there today. Uh, most of the calls we see today are over some IP or VoIP or telephony type of call, which allows additional gaps to be um, exposed and, and taken advantage of by the bad actors. Um, Unfortunately, there's no way to guarantee every single call is going to be legitimate or uh, unwanted and, and blocked. But what we can do is when we look at uh, how we can instill trust into the community is giving the end users the confidence through technology that the calls that do come in are legitimate calls. Uh, and so it's a little bit easier to identify a legitimate call than it is to figure out if it's an unwanted or spam call. And so some of the services and solutions we're looking at from the industry is really focused on how to give the end user or consumer confidence that it is a legitimate call. Mm -hmm.